What's up guys? In this tutorial, we're going to create this awesome EQ uh, sound visualizer effect. Okay, so it's called Quick VFX because we do tutorials very quickly. So let's get started. So I'm just going to load an audio file, import file. If you just right click, import file. And I've got this beat I made, House of Horrors, double click, loads it in. I'm going to drag and drop it onto composition, this icon here. Uh, creates automatically a composition and the audio file is sitting inside, okay? If I just play it back, um, you can hear the song, great. Next, layer new solid. We're going to create a solid for our EQ equalizer. Doesn't matter about the color, just hit OK. Um, I'm going to go to Effect, Generate, Audio Spectrum. It's a very powerful free plugin. Um, sorry, it's not even a plugin. It's actually built into After Effects. So, uh, and it's very powerful. Okay. So, as you can see, we have these dots. Now, first, we're going to make the thickness a little bit more so you can see it. Okay. And I'm going to link my audio file now. So, audio layer, click here and choose the, the waveform, House of Horrors. Okay and we can see it moving. So I'm just going to preview a little bit. As you can see, it's already reacting to the sound. That's great. Now, one problem, I need this to be edge to edge. So where it says start point, I'm going to put a zero at the beginning. So now it snaps to the left edge. And end point, I'm going to make this 1920 because it's full HD, and that snaps it to the right side. Okay, great. Now. Next, I'm just going to minimize this. I'm going to go to Effect, uh, Distort, Polar Coordinates. Okay? I'm going to set it to Rect to Polar. Okay? And I'm going to turn it up all the way to 100. And that basically twists, bends the line into a circle. So if I just preview. <laughs> Nice. I'm just going to scale it up a bit. So literally, I'm just going to hit S on my solid, brings up scale, and I'm just going to increase it. Okay. Let's have a look. Let me just preview a small portion. So I'm just going to use uh, B and N, uh, cache before playback, so it just kind of renders the whole thing. Okay, looks good, but it, it needs some movement. So I'm just going to click on the solid again, hit R to bring up rotation, and I'm going to alt click the stopwatch or option on a Mac. So alt click, and it brings up the expression box. I'm going to type time multiply 20 semicolon, and then just click away here. And that's going to add some automatic rotation to the circle. So if we just play it back, It's much nicer. Okay, you can already see the potential. So you can put your logo in the middle there, uh, you know, make it look cool. Um, if I just go to back to audio spectrum, open it up, uh, we have display options. So this is digital. Now, first, I'm just going to increase the peak. So if you go to maximum height, you can actually make these lines even longer. And I'm just doing it for visual purposes, but it's there. Um, frequency bands is a number of little dots in the circle. Uh, start and end frequency is literally, so this is like your bass range, start frequency and end frequency, 2000 hertz is like your vocal range. So you might want to adjust these, but um, I'm just going to go to display options. You've got digital, you've got analog lines. This effect's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. Um, if we just go to side A and B, side options. So side A, the effect goes inwards, if you just have a look. And side B, the effect goes outwards from the circle. 
So I quite like this effect. It uh, looks a bit more like a speaker because the sound's kind of like emanating outwards from the circle, which is like in line with uh, a real speaker. So I'm just going to keep it on this effect. <laughs> Now we can blend two layers. So if I just click my solid, control D to duplicate it. And in this duplicated copy, I'm gonna choose display options, analog dots. Okay. And I believe I have to composite on original. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, I'm gonna use the blending options. So uh, where are my blending options? They should be there. If I just click, yeah. They disappeared. So if you just click down here, this tiny little icon in the middle, it's like a circle in a square. It brings up the blending modes. So I can just add this, do an add operation. So the two, you should be able to see, if I just increase maximum, yeah, maximum height uh, to bring the second layer, bring these dots out a little bit more. Uh, if I just play this back, and in fact, my second layer, which has the dot effect, analog dots, I'm going to make this one go inwards. Something like that, okay? So as you can see, it's quite powerful. I can duplicate the layer and use an add mode to basically like blend the two layers. That's the effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, quick VFX is the name. We make quick tutorials. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.